Like snowmakers at ski resorts, home snowmakers make snow in sub-freezing atmospheric conditions using a mixture of compressed air and pressurized water. This simple home snowmaker design, shown here, uses two nozzles. Now the top nozzle, called the bulk water nozzle, sprays high pressure water in a flat fan pattern. This stream of water fractures into small water droplets that will become ice particles before falling to the ground. The bottom nozzle, called the nucleation nozzle, sprays a mixture of compressed air and a small amount of water. The compressed air undergoes an adiabatic expansion as it exits the nozzle, which means it cools rapidly. It will reach temperatures below minus 40 Celsius, which is cold enough for homogeneous freezing of the water to occur. Now this process is similar to how ice crystals form in very cold regions in the upper troposphere. The result is a plume of ice crystals, which acts as nuclei for the water droplets from the bulk water nozzles. When the nucleation plume mixes with the bulk water, the bulk water droplets are nucleated and the freezing process begins. These droplets are quite small, so with adequate hang time and cold conditions, they are completely frozen when they reach the ground. Now another interesting aspect of the home snowmaker is the interaction of the fluid streams created by both nozzles. The upper nozzle sprays water at high pressures, up to 1000 psi, so we know the water is moving very rapidly as it exits the nozzle. As a result, the air immediately surrounding this water also moves with a similar velocity. Now from Bernoulli's principle, we know that a fluid's pressure decreases with increasing velocity, so the air pressure immediately surrounding this stream of water is reduced. We can see evidence of this by the way the nucleation plume is seemingly pulled up into the bulk water plume. It's a bit difficult to see because it was pretty windy today, but in this example, as I move the bulk water nozzle to the side, we see that the nucleation plume shoots roughly parallel to the nozzle. But when I move the bulk water nozzle back in line with the nucleation nozzle, the nucleation plume arcs upward into the bulk water stream. When it's cold enough outside, this simple home snowmaker design, along with an air compressor and pressure washer, can be used to make snow. Snowmaking can begin when the ambient wet bulb temperature is near or below 27 degrees Fahrenheit, and the efficiency of the process really increases rapidly as the wet bulb temperatures fall into the lower 20s and below. We use the wet bulb temperature because it accounts for the effect of evaporational cooling in aiding the cooling process of the water droplets to their freezing point. The amount of snow produced depends on the temperature, humidity, wind, and amount of water used. But with the right equipment and conditions, you can make some seriously impressive amounts of snow in just one night.